Rachel. Welcome to Slow Fashion Mom. Today I just wanted to do a breakdown of my fall capsule wardrobe for you. So just go over how many pieces in total, how many came from my closet, how many I thrifted, how many I bought new, all of that. If you haven't seen my fall capsule wardrobe, I will link it in the cards above. And I just thought it might be interesting to break it down and just kind of share my process to making this capsule wardrobe. So this fall, my wardrobe has a total of 16 clothing items in it. I've also got three pairs of shoes, two belts, two scarves, and two pieces of outerwear for a total of 24 pieces. So this is how the clothing broke down. Nine pieces came from my closet, items I packed away from last year or items that I've had for years. Four pieces were thrifted, and then two pieces were thrifted that I kind of refashioned into something else. So the first is my plaid shirt. I found this really nice men's plaid shirt. I love the pattern, and I brought it home to see what I could do. And as you can see from the picture, I just removed the collar, changed the neckline, shortened the shirt and the sleeves, and brought it in at the waist a little. The second item was this raspberry colored cashmere sweater. And as you can see, it started out with a dog on it. And honestly, I probably shouldn't have bought the sweater if I didn't already love it in the store. So I hated the dog, but I absolutely love the color of the sweater and the fit and the fabric. It's a mix of cashmere and angora and it looked like it had never been worn. It's in absolutely perfect condition, no pilling or anything like that. So yeah, I brought it home and I was wondering if I would wear it with the dog on it and then I ended up seeing in a store this sweatshirt that had like quilting on it. Um, so that kind of inspired me to see if I could just do something with this sweater and I had all these scraps of really beautiful silk that a friend had given me they weren't big enough to do anything with. So I just made a little design and covered up the dog and I'm happy with the sweater now. I purchased one new item this season, just a plain v-neck white t-shirt and I purchased that from Pact, an ethical and sustainable company that I've kind of heard a lot about. They do just basics like t-shirts, socks and underwear kind of thing. So they use organic cotton that's fair trade, no sweatshops, no child labor, no pesticides, non-GMO cotton, that's their thing. So I needed to replace just a basic white t-shirt that I've had for years and was kind of in really bad condition, so I bought this one. So that's it for the clothes. I also have three pairs of shoes this fall that are in my capsule, ballet flats, moccasins, and a pair of boots. These were all from my closet, although the boots did need to get their heels repaired. I did that, it cost me $35, and I'm really happy with the results. The guy did an amazing job, and actually I'm really happy with the price because I expected it to be more than that. Okay, so the total amount of money I spent this season on my capsule wardrobe, I ended up spending $69.43 on thrifted items. I spent $17.99 on my new white t-shirt and then $35 for my boot repair for a grand total of $122.42. So yeah, I think that's not bad. I've never actually tracked this before, how much money I spend each season, so I was really interested to see that. And I just looked up on Statistics Canada just to see. Um, and apparently Canadians spend an average of $3,500 a year on clothing. So I will have to see how we add up at the end of the year as a family. If I was buying a piece here and there from a sustainable or ethical designer, I think one piece could easily cost that amount. So that's it for today. I was personally interested to see how the capsule wardrobe broke down and I guess I just wanted to share this with you. You can definitely make a capsule from items you already own and if you need to add some stuff in thrifting is a great option or buying pieces new whatever works for you thanks so much for watching today please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to see more hope you have a great day and I will see you next time bye